Hello and welcome to Mathematical Physics. What is line? Today's lesson is about line, but not that pure version we use mostly in math. We customize it for some scientific purposes. You know that we do not use abstract mathematics in science. We use applied version of that. Let's learn it. If you are ready, let's start. But let me turn off the camera and concentrate on the screen. By the way, if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and push the bell button to see more videos. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay, let's see how the line is made. Suppose that I have a special arrangement of some points. Let's name this one the first point, and let's call this one the second point, this one the third point, and so forth. Then I take this location. From this location, I can see the first point, but the second point is behind the first one, and I cannot see that. And the third point is behind the second point. I can't see even the third point. All the other points are behind the first one. So I think uh, in this way, if I connect those points, I can make a straight line. This is how the straight line is made. Now let's put a Cartesian coordinate here to make an algebraic expression for the line. Algebraic expression for a line could be something like that, y equals mx plus b. Let's put this machine here. This equation really works like a machine. It has an input like x and it has an output like y. Suppose that, for example, y is equal to 2x plus 3. This machine has a special rule. Here I give x, for example, 1, then I will get y to be 5. So the point x equals 1 and y equals 5 will be on this line. Every set of values of x and y, which can satisfy this equation, will be on the line. What about the other values, m and b? b is named vertical or y-intercept. The line necessarily will pass through the vertical axis. We'll have an intercepting point. That point will have a distance to the origin. This is b. If b is 5, means that this point is 5 units far from the origin. What about m? m is named slope or gradient. Slope or gradient. What the gradient is. The gradient or the slope indicates how fast the line is ascending or descending. If the slope is 5, means that on the line, if you go one step forward, the line will take you 5 steps upwards because the line is ascending and the slope is positive. Can the slope be negative? Yes. If the slope is negative 3, means that if you go one step forward, the line will take you three steps downward. One step forward, three steps downward. So here is a descending line. Let's have some examples to learn it better. Look at this example. Ascending line, positive slope. Y equals 2x plus 6. Let me put a Cartesian coordinate system here. I should remind you that vertical intercept, y intercept of this line is 6, means that the line will pass through the vertical axis at this point, 6 units far from the origin, positive 6. What about the slope? The slope is 2, means that the line is ascending. If I go to the positive direction of x, the line will take me up. So the line could be something like that, ascending line. How should I find x-intercept? x-intercept is here, the point at which the line will pass through the horizontal axis. How should I find it? Necessarily, you know that x is exactly the axis on which all align that, of course, y is equal to 0. So if I put y to be 0, I can easily find x to be negative 3. Negative 3 is named root or x-intercept root or x-intercept. What about the slope? The slope of this line is 2, 
means that if I put a right triangle here as the hypotenuse of that triangle is attached to the line and if I go one step to the right the line will take me two steps upwards or if I go x steps to the right I will go two x steps upward all along the line the slope will be the same the gradient of the line will not change another example y equals negative 2x plus 6 what about this line look at this again the vertical intercept the y intercept is 6 so the line will pass through the vertical axis through this point what about the slope slope is negative the line is descending if i go to the right to the positive direction of x-axis the line will take me down so the line will descend like that do we have a root here yes we do how should i find that i told you x is the axis on which y is equal to zero so let's put y to be zero in this way x will be three so three is the root or x intercept what about the value of the gradient the value of the gradient the value of the slope it's negative two i told you if i put a triangle here and if i go one step to the right this right triangle will take me down two steps downward one step two steps or x steps to the right two x steps downward look at this example find the slope of this line in x equals 4.3 you know that the slope of the line is not dependent on the point so everywhere the slope will be the same if i find the slope it will be valid also for x equals 4.3 so let me establish a right triangle here if i establish my triangle here i don't know anything about this point so let me establish uh here it's good because i know everything about the vertices now the two vertices are enough for me because i'm gonna have the base and the height and then divide the height over base to find the slope the horizontal axis indicates from here to here is 15 so it's 15 vertical axis indicates i should go from negative 12 to 18 so it will be 30 so height is 30 if i divide 30 by 15 i will get 2 so the slope of this line will be 2 everywhere find the x intercept of this line if the slope is 3 you know that x intercept means root so i'm gonna find this point general approach for the root is putting the equation equals to 0 then i will find x but the problem is that i don't know anything about the equation what should i do now I should go for a slope let me establish a triangle here and this triangle have will have the slope of three means that height over base will be three so base will be one third of the height height is 18 so one third of 18 will be six here i think the root will be six and the answer is six find the y-intercept of this line if the slope is negative 4 y intercept is here i'm looking for this point let me establish a triangle again and uh, i confirm that the uh, absolute value of the slope is 4 absolute value is enough for me so height over base will be 4 base is 3 so height will be 4 times 3 height will be 4 times bigger than the base 4 times 3 will be 12 so the vertical intercept is 12 parallel lines suppose that the equation of a line is given to be y equals 2x so it's a line ascending line with a slope of 2 with no y intercept it will pass through the origin if i give you another equation like y equals 2x plus 3 we will have the same slope but with different y intercept so it will have a y-intercept of 3 but with the same slope seems that the increase of two lines is the same so they are parallel another equation could be y equals 2x minus 
3. It will have the y-intercept of negative 3, but as you see, still I have the same slope. So when the slope of the lines are the same, I can confirm that they are parallel. Forget about the vertical shift or the vertical intercept. Proportional versus linear relation. Suppose that I have an equation like y equals 3x. Here, if I multiply x by 2, I can say simultaneously I have multiplied y by 2 also. Here I say y is proportional to x. y is proportional to x with this sign of alpha. On the other hand, I may have an equation like y equals 3x plus 5 with a y-intercept. Here, if I multiply x by 2, I can't say that I have multiplied y by 2. I should calculate it. Example could be the Kelvin and Celsius temperature. T is equal to theta plus 273. I can say T and theta have linear relation, but they, they are not proportional. Because if I multiply theta, for example, by 10, I can't say they have, they have simultaneously multiplied T by 10 also. No. I should calculate it. Look at the graphical view. If y is equal to mx and m is positive, I can say it is a line passing through the origin and ascending line. I take an arbitrary value for x like x1. I put it in the equation I, and I find the corresponding value for y, y1. I put another x, x2, and I will get the corresponding value like y2. Here I can write y2 over y1 is equal to mx2 over mx1. Here, if you kill the m, you will get x2 over x1. So, the main property of the proportional relation is the y2 and y1 will have the same ratio of x2 over x1. But, when you have just linear relation with a vertical value, with a vertical intercept, Unfortunately, you can't write y2 over y1 is equal to x2 over x1. This is very important point. Slope in physics. Suppose that vertical axis here indicates the weight of an object in Newton and horizontal axis indicates the mass of the object in kilograms. Okay, if the mass is 1, the weight might be 9.80. If the mass is 2, we will measure the weight and we will find 19.6 and so forth. Then we connect those points. In physics, we know that weight and mass are connected like this. W is equal to mg. G is named gravitational acceleration. According to the mathematics here, G also will be the slope of this line. For finding the slope of this line, I can easily establish a triangle here everywhere. And so, Vertical axis indicates the height of 19.6 here, and horizontal axis the base to be 2. Then I divide the values, and then I will get 9.80. That's all. The G is 9.80 here. Then I will plot W versus mass in another way, with different scale. Vertical scale is the same, but horizontal scale has been shrinked. The values are closer to each other. Then... I establish the triangle again, I measure the height, I measure the base, and I will get the same value for G. What's the problem here? The second line mathematically seems to have more slope, larger slope. But in physics, we say no. The slope of these two lines are the same. This is very important point. Pay attention. The slope of these two lines will be the same but they seem different. Pay attention. In mathematics, when we draw y versus x, y and x will have the same scale, will have the same nature. But the nature of weight and the nature of mass are different. So you can take any arbitrary scale for horizontal axis and the other one for vertical axis. It is independent of that when you find a slope. So the slope of the line in physics is not something you see and judge by your eyes. You should just divide height by base to find the slope. The slope of the second line, as I told you, is not larger or smaller than the first one. They are the same, but they seem different. Pay attention. 
This is something you must know in physics. Later in physics lessons, you may see more and more examples. Okay, hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you liked it, give me a like. See you in other videos.